Well, it's a misty morning in October and uh, I'm in Florence, a friend's house in Florence, for a very exciting day today because 12 months ago, or roughly 12 months ago, he ordered up a new Aperta, Ferrari 599 Aperta, the GTO based engine 599 convertible, one of 80. And today is the day we're going to collect it. Just to make life a little bit in more interesting, I've got my Barquetta here, which as you can see has been resting out overnight. And the poor thing has gathered a bit of mist. The one thing we couldn't organise was the weather. <laughs> and uh, yes, we're really hoping it's going to improve. Today it was forecast to be 25 degrees. It's about 16 degrees at the moment and uh, a little grey. By the time we get to Maranello, I hope it's better than this. And then I just park there. Park oh, here? Yeah. Okay. No way. I've just been told to move it to the other side of the barrier. arrived. Um, one of the nice things when you're uh, in a Ferrari or uh, a Fiat product, you're allowed to park inside. So we're actually inside the barrier and to be able to say, oh we've come to get the Aperta was a very nice thing to be able to do at the desk. Go and see what happens next. Of course it's like chaos here, we've uh, collected the Aperta and we're just trying to do a shot and every van is trying to get up the same road but it does look nice. We are. I think he wants us out. I think we make the picture look a bit ugly. Once the photographers have finished mucking around at um, next stop, Futa Pass. Sounds much more fun. When you get to test a brand new car and I want to mean brand new straight out of the factory yesterday brand new and a car like this a car like this is about as bespoke as you can get everything is to the individual the, the owner of this car has had a fantastic time specking it some of the details are just beautiful if you have a look here these are meant to be in a, in a loud silver but he's done it in this sort of darker titanium color and then on the wheels really nicely done and they're slightly smoked and then not having the yellow center on the wheels the silver calipers and again no yellow of the horse just the shields very very nice round at the front the grills are in that same sort of titanium color as well really nice finish all with sort of piano black switch gear if you look here instead of the aluminium you normally see on the 599 same with the paddles black, jet black, and on the wheel. And he spec it without the carbon wheel with the change-up lights and the white taco in the middle. Roll over stripe, and then over the hoops the same. Sort of leather stitching in here. Really nicely done. Most exquisite car to travel in. As a convertible, you don't get blown around. It is just the most lovely thing to just drive around open top in this car. Now, quite surprised how different this car is to drive to the GTO. Um, spent a fair bit of time at the GTO, and there's, um, there's a real aggression there. But uh, this car is quite different. They put it. They say they've changed the suspension settings dramatically, and I, they certainly have. It's, um, it's a much softer car than, this, uh, than the GTO, but not in a bad way. It just actually makes it. Um, sort of not as aggressive, you don't feel as though you really have to sort of be caning it all the time. I don't get it, so I'd say it's actually a softer setup than the standard GTB. What hasn't changed though is the noise. I actually put it down to sport. One of the, one of the surprises of they've actually softened off the noise, so it's not actually as noisy as it used to be. So cruising like this, you haven't constantly got that drone of the GTO. But you 
foot down and back it comes. in one day and said, oh, we could do a roof like this. So how it works is it's, um, it's a fabric roof and you lay it across the top here because it's got sort of bracing inside it. And then the two sides contain the side windows. They're, they're rigid, a bit, bit like the Elise game. And they go in the corners and you stretch it over and it tensions the middle canvas bit. I really quite like the Barchetta in the person because it, it forces you to have the roof down all the time because you, you never really dry the roof up. So they're very special cars. It's, that's, that's a nice characteristic to have, because if you have a special car, you tend to drive it on sunny days anyway. And these are the ultimate special, special cars. Nothing sounds like a Ferrari V12, does it? for this engine because um, yes it's showing it's done 380 miles brand new this car came out of the factory yesterday spending a day up the food to pass it's a great great way to christen it but overall a really special car properly special but an incredibly usable one as well that's quite a nice combination softer set up yes but owners are going to love this car. I just wish I was one. 